This one is about dioxin, a truly nasty poison. And not surprisingly, the underlying part is really a disaster. The organisms trying to metabolize or render harmless the chemical that is irritating it. That's a, a wordy disaster. So what's wrong with that? So first of all, the word trying, this is something called a gerund. A gerund is the ing form of a verb used as a noun. And it's perfectly fine to use these gerunds. They are used as nouns. So walking is fun or I like skiing. Those are perfectly fine uses of gerunds. But when the gerund is the object of a possessive, so here the organism's trying, that's often something very awkward and almost always on the GMAT that's something that's going to be wrong. So right away that eliminates answer choices A and B which both begin with the gerund. So answer choices C, D, E begin by just replacing that with a noun, the organism's attempt. So that's much better. In C and D what we get is this awkward phrase attempt to try. Attempt to try, that's completely redundant. You don't say, I'm going to attempt to try something, just I'm going to attempt something. Also, D has this really disastrous phrase, to try and metabolize. Whenever you have that phrase in the GMAT sentence correction, to try and do something, that one is, it's used in spoken English frequently, and so our ears are used to it, that's the problem, but it will be wrong 100% of the time on GMAT sentence correction. So that's one really to be aware of. So right away that narrows everything down to answer choice E, and we'll just check everything else. Another problem that with the original underlined phrase, the chemical that is irritating it. That's a very long indirect way to say it. A much shorter way to say that would be the chemical irritant which E says. So E is incredibly sleek, efficient, direct, and has no grammar mistakes. So E is by far the best answer here, the most non-toxic answer.